Siberian Huskies are one of the most stunning breeds available. They are also known as wolf dogs due to their wolf-like looks and howling sounds that they are well known for. True wolves are a bit scary, but don't worry, these dogs are quite friendly and enjoy playing with people. The popularity of Siberian Huskies has soared in recent years, mainly due to the breed's inclusion on TV shows such as Game of Thrones. This breed, however, being a ferociously bright and energetic dog, is far from a fashion accessory. They require care, attention, and plenty of exercise and activity. How can new Siberian Husky owners appropriately care for their dogs? Hey everyone, welcome to Dog Joy. Our subject for today is the adorable and amazing Siberian Husky. Keep watching to find out everything you need to know about this royal dog. History. Ah, the Husky, with what some may call a very serious and beautiful face. These dogs go back thousands of years. Originally developed by the Chukchi tribes people of northern Siberia, a very cold area of the planet. The Chukchi people introduced the Siberian Husky to Northeast Asia, largely for use as a sled dog. Their sled dogs were vital to the Chukchi survival and their village's viability. Many of the characteristics seen in today's Siberian Husky can be traced back millennia to these Chukchi canines. For example, their disposition must be balanced enough to coexist peacefully with humans and other dogs. They had to work in groups of 20 or more and their temperament was crucial to their survival. A large dogfight on the ice in severe Arctic conditions might be disastrous because wounded dogs meant that the team and family would perish from exposure to the environment. The Chukchi dogs were also mild enough to sleep on as doggy duvets for their children's beds. The number of dogs needed to keep the children warm at night was measured, such as three dog nights, four dog nights, and so on. According to popular belief, Chukchi dogs are the direct descendant of an uninterrupted line of pure breeding that dates back 1,000, 2,000, or 3,000 years, depending on which source you trust. The reality is a little more complicated and interesting. Sled dogs have been used as transportation by several indigenous Siberian peoples for thousands of years. Indeed, the 3000 year mark that is frequently used in discussions of Siberian Husky history may be a significant underestimation. N. N. Dikov, a renowned Russian archeologist, discovered evidence of Laika type dogs in tombs on the Kamchatka Peninsula dating back 10,000 years. Alaskans became interested in the breed in the early 20th century, and the Siberian Husky was transported to the United States. Huskies have succeeded as sled dogs over the years. Perhaps most remarkable was the delivery of antitoxins to Nome, Alaska, during a diphtheria epidemic. The Idita Rod Trail, the iconic sled dog race, is held each year to commemorate this life-saving journey. In 1925, a statue of Bolto, the lead dog who finished the serum run, was erected in New York City Central Park to pay homage. Later on in 1995, an animated film was made to honour Bolto and the adventure of the Idita Rod Trail. If you enjoy animated films and dogs, then this one is a must-see. The American Kennel Club first recognised the Siberian Husky in 1930. They have continued to work hard as sled dogs, but they are now more known as companion dogs. According to the AKC, they are now the 12th most popular breed in the United States. Puppy Days These pups are truly one-of-a-kind animals who will steal your heart when you meet them. Your puppy will be with the breeder for the first eight weeks of their life. Because these are crucial weeks in a dog's growth, it's even more important to pick your breeder carefully. During these weeks, the breeder should be socialising and stimulating the puppies. Meanwhile, back at home, you can prepare for your pup by filling up any holes in the yard, even though it will be a while before you can leave your dog alone in the yard. Siberian Huskies are legendary escape artists, so now is the time to train them to live in a stable, secure environment. It is now up to you to decide whether you will bring this adorable dog home and make the Siberian Husky your buddy. Size and Appearance Siberian breeds come in various colours, including black, white, red, brown and grey. Because there are no conventional colour for this breed, watching what comes out next is always interesting. The coat length also varies. Some have thick fur, while others can have shorter hair. And if you're wondering why their eyes are so unusual, it's because they come in various colours, including amber, green and blue, making them truly unique. 
The Husky is an elegant dog with upright ears and a dense velvety coat that reaches 20 to 24 inches height at the withers and can weigh anywhere from 35 to 60 pounds. They are typically grey, tan or black and white with head markings that resemble a cap, mask or spectacles. The breed has been preserved pure in Siberia for hundreds of years and is known for its intellect and kind demeanour. Temperament and Characteristics the Husky is an active, self-sufficient, mischievous and playful breed. It gets along well with other dogs and pets and is kind to strangers. They don't typically make good security dogs due to their overall friendly temperament. They get along well with people of all ages but are too independent and energetic to be a good walking companion for children or the elderly. They have a strong personality and are not an easy dog to train. Some additional patience and persistence will be required. While Huskies don't bark frequently, they are far from silent, releasing a wide range of whoos, chirps and howls. If you follow any Husky-centric channels on social media, you've likely seen some hilarious videos of them making some wild noises. In some instances, it almost sounds like they're trying their best to speak. It should be noted that these are conventional and widely recognised generalisations regarding the breed, yet individual Huskies may behave differently. Training and Intelligence Huskies are lively, intelligent and loud canines. To keep them happy and healthy, they need a lot of training and activity. Because many Huskies have a strong urge to explore and can be escape artists, they cannot be walked off leash because they will wander off exploring and chasing small animals. They also require a strong physical barrier that is high enough that they cannot jump over it and is protected enough that they cannot dig beneath it. Serious training is required to help your Husky focus its energy and stay calm. A Husky may appear out of control at times if not properly trained and exercised. If you love dogs like we do and want to see more videos about all the amazing dogs in the world, please be sure to like and subscribe to the channel so you'll be notified about all our future videos. Exercise and Agility the Husky is an active breed that requires at least one to two hours of activity every day, as it befits its long-distance sled racing heritage. Dog sledding, ski drawing, bike drawing and any other activity that requires dragging and running is ideal for the breed. Huskies are not particularly good swimmers or retrievers. Because these dogs tend to roam and may not return when called, exercise must be done on a leash or in a safe place. The breed can be extremely clever about escaping, so a secure yard is recommended. They are infamous for causing damage to homes when not properly exercised or left alone for an extended period of time. Young husky dogs are definitely prone to destruction and should be kept in a secure place. Shedding and grooming. The Husky's dense, double-haired coat allows the breed to endure extremely cold conditions. The breed typically prefers chilly temperatures and might overheat in hot weather. The undercoat of the Siberian Husky is velvety, while the upper coat is thicker and slightly tougher. This dog breed sheds very little for most of the year and then sheds a lot for approximately three weeks, a process known as blowing the coat. During the shedding season, the thick coat requires weekly grooming. Baths are normally only required a few times a year because the breed is somewhat self-cleaning. Keeping up with the shedding during that time will be difficult and your yard will most certainly be littered with clumps of husky fur. Make sure to brush your husky thoroughly once or twice a week. During periods of severe shedding, the Furminator is an excellent tool to have on hand. Huskies are known as hygienic dogs who keep themselves clean and have very little doggy odour. To minimise breaking and discomfort, keep their nails short and trim them on a regular basis. Also, brush your dog's teeth twice a week to keep their mouth healthy. Health and Lifespan Responsible breeders try to uphold the highest breed standards set by kennel bodies, such as the AKC. These rules ensure that dogs are less likely to inherit health problems during their lifetime. Huskies can, however, develop some hereditary health issues. One condition to be aware of is hip dysplasia, a disorder in which the hip socket does not form properly. Another one you should look out for is hypothyroidism, which is a condition that occurs when the thyroid does not produce enough hormones. 
The Siberian Husky is a sleek, athletic dog with great endurance and a strong work ethic. This friendly dog breed originated as a sled dog in Northeast Asia and has a vibrant and playful personality. Huskies are high energy and often intense dogs, but they can be friendly and sensitive when properly cared for. So, what is your favorite fact about the Husky? Would you want to own one yourself? Perhaps you have one now. We absolutely love interacting with you in the comments, so please let us know your thoughts and stories below. Once again, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.